across. Thin hedges and radiation. In this chapter, about dihybrid cross. Chapter 5. So, what is dihybrid cross? Dihybrid cross is a type of mating experiment done by Mendel, means Gregor Johann Mendel, in which a pair of character, that is two characters, are considered and observed. How they are transferred and um, what are the changes or uh, what are the interaction. First only I must tell that dihybrid uh, cross is associated with law of independent assortment as well as a law of segregation and in simple words we can say when a, a pair of characters are transferred from parent to offspring then mm, one pair do not hamper or uh, do not uh, um, interfere with uh, the transfer of another pair of character for example roundness of seed won't hamper shape of uh, the seeds and color of the seeds shape and color of the seeds are two experiment by Mendel. Now coming to the discussion. What are the dominant characters? So dominant characters are roundness and yellow color of the seed and recessive traits are wrinkled and green. So homozygous dominant round seed is written as capital R R heterozygous dominant round seed is capital R smaller homozygous recessive wrinkled seed is small rr now coming to the color of the seed homozygous dominant yellow color seed is capital y y heterozygous is same way you can write is capital Y small y and homozygous recessive homozygous recessive green color seed is small y. If you write all of these in the beginning then it makes easier to understand as well as perform the dihybrid cross. Now how to write or how to perform the checkerboard of how to perform checkerboard of dihybrid cross. So first as it's written then we can write uh, the gametes as I have written here. So capital RR stands for homozygous dominant round C 
and wrinkle seed is small rr so yellow uh, seeds are little y y as written here and uh, uh, green seeds are small y y now the gametes are written as capital r capital y and next one small r small y so gametes obtained uh, from the parental generation this is from parental generation from parent generation now uh, in f1 generation so what is obtained these two traits mixed together so capital r small r capital y small y leading to formation of round yellow seed how come because capital r alone is uh, the dominant trait and capital y alone is the dominant trait so in f1 generation so here we can write um f1 f1 generation is capital r small y capital y Uh, so, uh, sorry capital r uh, small r capital y small y again from this we can determine or we can write the gametes so gametes of f1 generation either you can uh, write uh, it's better to write the gametes like just a moment so next step it's better to use checkerboard So here, what all gametes can be found? Just a moment. So here, the gametes found are capital R, small capital R, capital Y. It's better to write the dominant traits uh, earlier and recessive traits later. That again makes it easy. then capital r small y uh, then small r capital y and fourth one fourth one small r small y small r small y which is totally recessive so two sets of these genes will be found and now it's written in the checkerboard format in the next page as you can see here so these are the gametes as i have written in this page here same thing it's written two times now capital r cap capital r capital y twice because it's a female gamete and male gamete as you can see here it's female gamete and here it's male gamete it's not shown male gamete so what happens and one more fact we must remember here it's not written that in case of parent generation this is the parent generation just a moment in parent generation Uh, cross pollination is done in case of f1 generation selfing as it's written it means uh, self pollination is done so i repeat in case of f1 generation cross pollination is done and in case uh, sorry in case of parent generation cross pollination is done and in case of f1 generation self pollination is done now coming to x1 f2 generation how to write now how to write f2 generation we will check it as you can see 